So as with all my spreadsheets, you need to go file, make a copy to start with, unless you're using the Excel version. So you might call this whatever you like, um, but that's the name of your file because it's a copy on your own drive. And then you can do whatever you like with it because it's your copy. So uh, all my spreadsheets, the yellow cells are input cells. So you should start by entering your team names. Now I've uh, happened to have these on my clipboard already, but you can just taste, paste in your class um, and they look like that. Um, once the class is in, you might have more than um, three members in each group, but and you might have, you can have as many teams as you like up to sixteen. Let's just make it simple. Let's just make it uh, like we've got ten teams, okay? Ten teams, and some of them have got some um, extra kids in them, but that's okay because it's pretty hard to have exactly the same number of kids in each group. Doesn't matter. So. Uh, there's a few ways you can use this sheet. This one's called anyone versus anyone. So this one basically I use for sumo wrestling battle bots sometimes. And basically uh, two kids, two teams might be ready. So this team here, team three might be ready to battle with team one. So over here you can type in three and you type in one because team three and team one are ready to go. And once they have a battle, you can say, okay, well, team three actually won that one. So you type in three for the winner and you press enter and automatically it'll calculate the number of wins, draws, losses, points, and it will rank them in order. So five minutes later, you might find that team three is ready to go again, but then team nine is ready to have a battle. So you put in team nine and you say, okay, ready, set, battle. And whoever wins, you can say, okay, team nine wins that one. So now, You've got uh, three points for a win, two points for a draw, but even one point for a loss. And that's why team three is winning because they've got a total of four points. Okay, so here's the battles, wins, draws, losses. Now you could, this sort of thing um, works well because with something like sumo wrestling battling, kids are often ready at different times and they want to have more battles and some kids want to have less battles and, and it's just a way of keeping track of it and I encourage everyone to have as many battles as they can because even if you lose you get a point. So often the kids that have the most battles end up winning but not always because they might lose a lot. But sometimes some kids might think that's a bit unfair because some kids might have 30 battles and other kids might have 20 and they feel like they're ripped off. So you can actually choose instead of I've got um, anyone versus anyone selected here but because I've got 10 teams, uh, 10 teams here, I could choose, uh, I'll just copy these names. I could choose the 10 teams sheet here, click on that one, and then I can paste the names in again. Paste. And now you'll see that on the side here, the team names for the battles are already, the numbers are already selected. So we could say, okay, team one has to pay T7 straight away and everyone actually plays each other once. It's worked out so that everyone plays each other once and so therefore everyone would have nine battles, okay? And then after that, everyone here will say, it'll say nine. See, it says nine there. Everyone's got nine battles and shows you how many are completed, who wins, who did. So say, for example, seven wins the first one, eight wins the next one, now these guys aren't ready, but four verse eight is. So four verse eight might play, and then two plays seven, and two wins, and so forth and so on. Later on, you might come back and do that battle, or you might just come down here and say, okay, three verse 10, let's go. And those guys battle, and then you just basically fill up all these cells here, and eventually they'll have nine battles, they'll all have nine here as well, and it'll work out which team wins. You can see that two, two teams here have got the same score of uh, four and four, so they're both ranked second there. It'll um, rank them in order of who's got the highest score, and you can keep a very good track of where they're at. So that's basically it in a nutshell. And uh, if you wanted to have them 
um, battle more than once each, you could actually, it says here to copy and paste these numbers here. So you could highlight all these numbers here. Okay, you gotta make sure you get them all. Scroll down, copy them, put that there, paste it. And then you'll see that everyone's got 18 battles now, but that's because everyone plays each other twice. So that's how you can do it. And it doesn't really matter how many teams you got because you just choose the tab down the bottom of how many teams you want. You might even just have four teams playing each other. And then that's, that's a little table there for everyone playing each other once. But you might say, okay, I want everyone to play each other three times. So you paste it and then you paste it. Everyone's playing each other in a total of nine battles. In other words, everyone's playing each other three times each. And you can just sort out your winners. So that's pretty much it, okay? Uh, if you don't like the way that I've done the battles here, you can always go over here and change the order of the battles and paste them in, but that's something that you probably won't bother about. But if you really wanted to change the order, you can click on this last tab and change the order of who's battling who. Okay, there's some instructions on the side there. But, you know, most of the time I just use this one because um, it's pretty hard to keep track of everyone battling each other an exact number of times. And it can you can be waiting for kids to get ready and that sort of thing. But if you just battle or compete when you're ready, then sometimes it's more fun. Sometimes I've said to each other, okay, you can battle anyone you like, whenever you like, but you can only have up to 20 battles, that's it. No, you can't have any more than 20 battles. And if you don't get 20 battles, well, that's your own fault for not being organized enough. Anyway, it's a pretty awesome spreadsheet. It's evolved a lot over the years and um, you can modify it as much as you wanted to make it look nicer and work better. But uh, please don't distribute it without my permission. In other words, don't distribute it. <laughs> you can use it as many times as you like but if someone you know wants a copy, can you encourage them to buy one on eBay? Because otherwise it's kind of a waste of all my skills and talents and I get ripped off. So cheers, have a good time and uh, let me know how you go with it. I'd love to hear some feedback. Thank you.